Hello Aries and welcome to your reading for March 2021. So this is going to be a general reading for you that's going to cover love, it's going to cover, cover career, home, anything you need to know. And there is going to be a separate DM to the F reading too. But this is the general energy. So what do you need to know for March? So we're going to use four decks of cards, the animal totems, the miracles now, the beyond indigo divine guidance deck and the empowering questions. So thank you for being here. And if you are new to the channel welcome subscribe join our family because we're here for you every day so thank you angel so what's the general energy around you for march what do we need to know wow so we've got the butterfly so you're possibly going to see a lot of butterflies during march and this is because you're transforming right now and we're all kind of transforming on this journey but march is going to be a really powerful like time of transformation for you a time where you move where you're meant to be become who you were born to be so you're going to be feeling very powerful during this time but butterflies also go through struggles, you know, in that chrysalis fighting for the way out of, you know, into freedom because your wings are becoming clear and free. So I feel you're also finding yourself. So you may find you're moving through challenges and obstacles and you're finding your way. So the butterfly symbolizes personal transformation. When she appears to you in your dreams or your daily life, you are being encouraged to be more sensitive to your personal growth and your expansion. So be kind to yourself this month. You know, trust yourself. Give yourself time. They're giving me like communication and swallow. So if you're finding anything hard to swallow or understand, give yourself time. I feel there's going to be deep communication here for twin flames in dreams. You're both going through a journey of transformation and healing. You're both understanding. So be patient at this time. And this is the year of the ox. So this is the time to be flexible and adaptable, to bring success in, to deepen your relationships, to bring happiness in, to be successful at work and, you know, to be patient and calm with things. And the butterfly wants to remind you to find joy and lightness in life. So during March, try and make your life a bit more lighthearted. Don't take things so seriously, you know, relax and enjoy and just do you and take one step at a time, you don't have to rush anything or force anything, just take each day as it comes, moment to moment, step by step, day by day, so what's the miracle that's happening in your life Aries in March, and March is a really powerful time, so a few cards have come out for you, we've got I begin my day with love, wow, so whatever you do in March, make sure you start your day with love, with gratitude, you know, feeling love, and if you're a twin flame, feel the love, so when you wake up in the morning, feel the power of the love, don't start your day in fear or doubt or confusion, start the day in love, send love from your heart to their heart, raise your vibration, feel good, and let go of fear, they're giving me fear, thank you, I have to release it when it comes, it's always come through as burpee energy, so I feel you're releasing some fear in March, but the angels are saying to you, whatever you're going through, and remember you are a butterfly, so you're being transformed, you're being transformed in love, and this is unconditional love, with no conditions and no expectations, so begin your day with love, and it will release all this fear, sometimes no is the most loving response, so make sure this month you're doing you, you know, sometimes saying no is the most loving thing you can do. So if someone's trying to make you do something, something you don't want to do or go somewhere you don't want to go, say no, because that's the most loving response for you. And it's the most loving response for them because then you don't resent them or have any anger towards them. So I feel it's going to be a, like a, a, a year as well, the same, but definitely a week and a month where you take control you know, you say no to things you don't want to do, you do you, so you're setting boundaries down, you know, you're focusing on self, you may have to say no to someone in your life, someone you do care about, because you're putting yourself first, so I feel this is going to be a month where you put yourself first, you know, you focus on yourself, and my eyes will see what I desire, so the miracle for this month is seeing what you desire. This is about focusing on the things you want, not the things you don't want. 
So you're starting to focus on love, happiness, joy, positivity, raising your vibration because you're transforming into who you're meant to be. So use the words desire. I desire love in my life. I desire positivity. I desire great things and allow people to witness their behavior so you can help them move beyond it. So what the angel is saying to you, allow people to witness their behavior so you can help them to move beyond it. What that means is you don't react to people. You're learning to respond. So if anyone's trying to get at you, you know, shouting at you, asking you to do something, just respond with love. And see love and say no if you need to. And when you say no, it allows other people to understand what they're doing. So this is also about you being a leader in your life, taking control and showing the way. To truly flourish is to release all the tension that holds me back from letting love pour through me. So release any tension. So remember what the angels are saying to you with this butterfly. You know, the butterfly wants to remind you to find joy and lightness in life. So let go. Don't take things so seriously. The angels are saying to you, release all the tension that's holding you back from letting love flow through you. So take each day as it comes. There's no need to rush. There's no need to try and make things happen or force things to happen. Just allow things to be. So love is the answer. You know, within your work life, within your, your goals, your dreams, your spiritual path, your twin flame journey or your love life, let go. Things are happening for you to grow you, to transform you into the person that you were born to be. So what do we need to know, please, angels? Well, yeah, look at this one card coming out here. We've got fun. So bring more fun into your life this month. More fun, more laughter, gratitude, happiness and joy. And this is showing you here, there's the opportunity to have fun in your relationships. So I feel that this is going to be a booster for you. You know, if you're spending time with your person this month, there's going to be more fun. There's going to be more opportunities to get together, to spend time together. And I feel this is your person giving you all of their attention. You're in each other's thoughts, you're in each other's mind, you're in each other's lives this month. So I also feel coming together with fun, making things light-hearted, not forcing things to be what they're not quite ready to be. You know, just taking things day by day, step by step, moment to moment. And that's the real message flowing through. So what questions do we need to be asking this month for you? So we've got, what or who am I beneath all my roles? So, you know, this is about really going deep within yourself and asking yourself that question. So what is your role in this life and what does that mean? You know, so if you're a mother or a father, what does that mean? That means that you are a guide and you're leading another soul forward to become who they're born to be. If you're a twin flame, it's your role to focus on love, to let go of conditions, to let go of expectations, to be flexible and adaptable, to be patient and calm. It's your role beneath the role to be a leader, a healer, to be a grower of, of, of the earth, you know, to show others the way, to be a leader of, of humanity. So you raise the vibration and set others free. This is your role in the world. So your job right now, what you are doing is teaching you about you. So this is really going deep within yourself and finding the answers. And this is what we do when we are transforming. So it's a great month of growth for you. What kind of situations do I avoid? And what does this evasion say about my previous experiences or beliefs? So it feels like if you've been avoiding situations, you're realizing now why. And that could be because you're understanding that it doesn't grow your soul or it doesn't resonate with your soul any longer. And that's why you may possibly be learning to say no. Say no to the things you don't want and yes to the things you do want. The things you want to be attracting into your life. And what if everything is as it should be? How would that make me feel? So you're being reminded that everything is happening for you. Everything's happening to grow you. It's happening for a reason and that you are safe. 
So the angels are reminding you that you're transforming, growing, evolving and finding your way. And everything is happening the way it's meant to for your growth and your learning. So a great month for you to expand your mind, to understand your truth, to realise who you are and why you're here. So you're understanding things on a very deep level. So as a twin flame, you're becoming more aware, more in the moment, more relaxed about things because you're understanding things and how they tick. You're finding the answers, you're going within. So the universe is speaking to you. The universe is directing you and showing you the way. So butterflies, big sign that you are healing, transforming, growing, and you're exactly where you're meant to be. And you are strong, beautiful, magical, and you have wings. You are an earth angel. You were born to thrive. So things moving forward, they're giving me fear because you're releasing fear, fear of being your true self, fear of expressing yourself, and most importantly, fear of saying no. Because you're saying no to what you don't want and you're saying yes to what you do want and that's putting you into a place of power. I hope this helps. Have a great month. Sending you so much love and I'll see you soon.